Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Suarez Horror Gamer. Hey, you have a friend with a dumb name. Okay. <laughs> Tetsu Texas, come on. Jeez, man. <laughs> ah! I did it again! Can can I not accidentally hit the X button? I'm <laughs> gonna... <laughs> There's <laughs> too many termites on this floor. I'll take care of it. And they're gone. Thanks, dumb cop. All right. <laughs> uh, now what? <laughs> again? God, you always, yeah. every time. That's what happens. We're used to the buttons being in a row. I got a Genesis. Yeah. There, there are four. So you also. didn't have a Genesis, like, at all? Not growing up, no. No? I had a Super Nintendo and Nintendo. And then uh, I had a PlayStation. That After that, I started buying my own stuff. Yeah. Um, actually, I bought my own PlayStation. I had a 64, and I bought it my, on my own, and a, and a Saturn. Um, and then, once I started working at a, at a video game store, classic gaming store, I, I bought uh, a Genesis, um, uh, Turbo Graphics. It was cool. Yeah, I like the... I Because I had... My first console was in the television. Then I got an Atari. Yeah, I had an then Atari. Then NES. And then... The big decision. I decided to go Genesis, and uh, yeah, it. I remember my cousin was kind of mad because he went Turbo Graphics, and he's just like, "Why don't I have those good games?" Because you're not in Japan, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. I. <laughs> these things that are here for no reason. Um. I. I do not regret having a Super Nintendo over a Genesis. Um. I think it was a better system. I would rather have gone Nintendo, Super Nintendo, than than Genesis, Saturn. <laughs> so. The Saturn had some great games. I'm not. I had a Saturn. I'm just saying. I would rather have I done know. it the way I did it. So, uh, yeah, I was talking about something before you just interjected. Not in a bad way. I'm making it sound bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was just complimenting the Saturn G. Yeah. No, no. I mean, I had one. You're making it sound like I was against it. I love the Saturn. Oh, uh, the Mega Drive did not do very well in Japan, apparently. Like, when what I have read, it was like Nintendo, Turbo Graphics, well, PC Engine, mm. then Mega Drive. So it's like, I always wondered why there's so much love for it over there. And it's like, oh, because it did better. There's just better games for it over there. Yeah. Then they did like all that weird shit where they had like that really specific system, like the Turbo, uh, not the Turbo Duo, mm -hmm. but the one that had like the only three games for it, that the really with the thick Q cards or whatever. Ah, uh, jeez, what was that? Yeah, no one cares at this point. Yeah, I know. So, what happened to that lady? <laughs> oh, she's she she's broke just, a she she's broke just a throwing heel. up there. It's like, <laughs> even though I'm the one beating her, I'm the one who did that to her. She's just like, ooh. <laughs> Now she's ex now she's gone. Going back to her Madonna video. Um, like I, I really wonder, do they think that women would do that here? You know what I mean? Like there were just random gang members <laughs> that would dress <laughs> like like dominatrix pro escorts. Bam! Need to the, the box there, lady. Wow, she's going. She just kind of goes to her knees and has her mouth out, like all agape, which is like, that's not a good look for you, lady. No, it's not. She makes a loud yelp. <laughs> See? She just easily does that. <laughs> I feel bad. But I'm also a lady, so it's not so bad. Anytime you're ready. There we go. It wouldn't let me grab her. Ah, uh, that's a bad sound file. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I um, I had the Genesis first, and then I eventually got the the Super Nintendo. But yeah, the uh, I remember with the um, with the Genesis. Story going somewhere? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just saying that it was like, yeah, I'm all Genesis. Yeah, Super Nintendo came out. Fuck the Genesis. I yeah. wasn't saying fuck the Genesis. No, I was. Oh, you didn't care about it anymore? Yeah. And then Turned my uncle took it, it and someone stole it from him. So then I stopped having a Genesis. Oh. Yeah. Stole it from him. That's what he says. Yeah. Sold <laughs> for barbacoa money. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, those dirty rainbows. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, jeez. Because he's racist. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, people... Yeah, you need to go watch a few other episodes to get if these they, If they're watching this one, they watch the first one. <laughs> Look, all five of you. Uh, 
If you're still here, you're not offended by that because you weren't offended the first time. <laughs> you weren't like, if he does that one more time, two <laughs> episodes from now, let me tell you something. I'll tell YouTube. <laughs> I'm not being racist. <laughs> 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 it's, it's not a slur yet. Yet. A after this, it might be, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm going to ruin rainbows for the world. I'm not trying. To oh, god damn it. Ultimate Warrior. You're the warrior. Yeah. Backdrop that guy. I always thought it was like how his finisher was a big splash. It's like, really? That's all you can come up with, guy? To just fall on your well, opponent? It, it used to be the Gorilla Slam. Then it was like, no, you got to do something else, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on him. Okay, that works. Yeah, do something, lady. Come on. She just froze there. I like how that pipe is there, but it's just like, oh, you can't get it though. Now you. Now can. I can get it. This is of no help to us. All right. Pajama party. That's what they were doing. There's a bunch of 12-year-old girls having a sleepover. And now we're Whee! beating them up. We're vigilantes. I just swipe sweet 16. <laughs> what are you doing? My dad ran in this boat. Boom. Wow, that guy just jumped out of the water. Like, what's going up here, girls? <laughs> oh, no. Yep. Happy birthday to you, bitch. Oh, I got a car. <laughs> See these are like the entertainment clowns. Yeah, the, this is kind of like some someone's nightmare is this right here. <laughs> with just the clowns. Just a, a room full of carrot tops. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I went. I put a mirror <laughs> on my toilet seat so I can see when I pass gas. <laughs> That's probably a real one. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, carrot top. He's making more money than all of us. Oh yeah. He's, now he's like in, in Las Vegas. He has a show there. It's a great show. Is it? That's what I've heard. I've heard it's a great show. Um, and, but he just looks creepy as shit. Because now he's like all buff. Well, he and looks that's not that bad. Yeah. I mean, it's weird seeing a guy who has orange hair, and he's like the like the world's strongest ginger now. It's that he has like that tattooed makeup on now. Well, it's... And the weird facelift. Yeah, I mean, it's creepy, but it's like, you know, from far away with regular clothes on, he looks okay. All right, so you you, you were stalking him for a while? No, <laughs> maybe like, yeah, a little. You know, like in the sun, in the shade, he looks okay. I just wanted to know how he came up with those props. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what do you know what we thought thinking about your poetry. I didn't know where that story was going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many Ultimate Warriors are there? The Warrior Nation. <laughs> just clotheslines you. I hate that attack because that clothesline just takes away like all your health. Yeah. I mean, like, we could just jump out of the way, but. Oh wow! Look at that. I don't know what I'm doing there. You're doing like 20 hit combo. Yeah, on, on nothing. And you're dead. Yeah, let's continue right there. Stupid warrior took away all my lives. I was doing pretty good. I was doing better than you. Uh, for a bit. Yeah, and for then, a bit. And then the ultimate warrior. Oh, oh look, man, it's my, your sisters. My two sisters. Sister, sister. What's, what's my name? My name's Blaze. So their names are like Fuego and... Flair. Or Fuega, probably. <laughs> yeah, Flair and Fuega. Yeah, because they're all Cuban. Yeah. Or Puerto Ricans. They're, they're all Puerto Rican prostitutes, <laughs> as uh, John Byrne would say. You know who John Use Byrne your special. Is? Use your special. Oh, I have another one. All right. You know who John Byrne is? Sounds familiar. Uh, he's a comic book artist from like the 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. Who uh, really great runs on Fantastic Four and X Men and uh, all great artist, great writer. And then he got old and commercial-y. <laughs> and when they made uh, when they put Jessica Alba as Invisible Woman, he said she looked like a Puerto Rican hooker. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave so on we're Puerto gonna Hooker. like always. We're gonna end on Puerto Rican hooker. <laughs> um, we beat up a couple right there. That's why I say that phrase because he did. And to <laughs> it's your go-to. Well, no, it's a thing where it's like, uh, wait, if you if you go watch World's End, there's a scene where they explain why they say boo boo that has, has to go away, and it's like this this weird chain of events. And mm -hmm. uh, for me and my wife, it's kind of the same thing where why I say Puerto Rican hooker and I, no one else knows the background to it where like 
that's why it's like Puerto Rican hooker. It, it comes from from John Byrne uh, <laughs> <laughs> saying that thing, and it's just like weird, weird things that we'll say now yeah. that uh, I I forgotten the backstory to, um, and that's one of them. Puerto Rican hooker is uh, there's a part before that uh, and a part after that that I've forgotten in the and where it evolved to. So I just remembered that Puerto I'm Rican saying Puerto Rican hooker a lot because of John Byrne. Um, so yeah, there's a backstory that no one cares about. <laughs> so uh, put that into your lexicon. Uh, just say Puerto Rican hooker when you see something that looks like vaguely like a Puerto Rican and or a hooker. Because that's what I mean. It's like it's not supposed to be racist. It's making fun of his racism. Um, she looks Puerto Rican, therefore she looks like a Puerto Rican yeah, hooker yeah, yeah. to John Br- to John Byrne. So that's the part I was trying to explain. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, thank you for joining us for another episode of Sports War Gamer. Um, come back next time.